Well, a couple of days back, I bought you a video about the fact that these mobile ULES camera vans are potentially going to be fined. If anybody sees them illegally parked on grass verges, on curbs or anything like that, make sure the relevant councils know. Hey presto, 130 quid fine. Well, many, many, many people saw that video and there was a lot of comments. I want to go through some of them now. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope you're well and uh, continuing to support Andy and Gabby Cabby. Very much appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as always. Make sure the notification bell switched on so you keep up to date with everything. Hit the like button, leave comments. That's what drives it all. And it really helps the growth of the channel. And I thank you for it. Well, let's have a look at some of these comments. There was this video I did a couple of days ago and it was about the fact that the ULES camera vans are getting fined if they're parked in dodgy places. So let's see what some of you have to say about it, shall we? Okay, first up, spot a star. Sadiq calms to reduce air toxic air quality by expanding the ULES to Greater London will not work. He doesn't really care about toxic air quality, and here is why. He has already made the toxic air far worse since he has introduced low traffic neighbourhoods which have increased the toxic air on the main roads because we're forced, forced to use them as there are no alternatives especially during rush hour. The roads are now gridlocked with traffic moving at walking pace and the fumes are getting denser and not dispersing. LTNs need to be reopened as it's causing more damage than good. To those of you that are unaware of LTNs, low traffic neighbourhoods, these are what you would consider what they call the rat runs, the little uh, side streets and residential areas that people used to nip up to get around the traffic. Uh, they've all been shut off and you can't get in there. Amongst all this, the mileage in vehicles has also increased due to the fact that we're forced to go the long way around to get to the required destination, all accumulating to even more emission being emitted. Bravo, Sadiq and team. The health of pedestrians and children as they walk along these main routes to get to stations, schools, shops is deteriorating. Even the drivers inhale more fumes when we are stuck in stationary traffic. This is really aggravating and makes no sense. Now they talk about cycle lanes. Should not be taking up an extra lane of the road. Large pavements could be divided into two for cyclists. The introduction of 20 mile an hour roads are also a problem because emission fumes don't disperse quickly and the air is getting even more polluted because of the need to drive in lower gears. Sadiq's statement is to reduce toxic air pollution is clearly not accurate and he's making matters worse. The station, the situation is getting extremely out of hand and something needs to be done to stop him from ruining our climate even more. He should resign and Londoners should vote for someone who will make London a greater and more desirable place to live. There needs to be a more logical and strategic plan that is well thought. Very, very informative thought out and you know detailed comment. I appreciate you for that. A lot of what you say makes a lot of sense. Now, as part of the C40 city agenda that Sadiq's mapped up with they want the cars gone this is where it's all leading i'm afraid but the public transport infrastructure isn't in place to support this idea i hear what you're saying about air pollution but to the level that he's trying to imply there is an issue you look at any air quality monitor site you care to mention and the air quality is within acceptable levels any real-time air quality measurement you check is within acceptable levels. So it's full of holes. It's full of holes, isn't it? The whole thing. Anyway, we continue. Thank you. Next one, London Borough Hillingdon. Talk the talk, no guts. Yep, I've seen them around there. Augustus Maximus. Blame Gov, not Khan, literally wasting your energy on a puppet. Now, that's a very good point as well, because as many people have pointed out, the whole idea of ULEDs initially was a Tory policy, and it's just 
blown up and the current incumbent of the Mayor of London's office is the one that's responsible for the resulting flack and everything else that's happening right now. But the rot does go back. And I mentioned C40 Cities as well. The British government are one of the funding partners of it. So, you know, they're all playing us. Timmy's faves. ULEZ is nothing more than a Ponzi scheme. It has nothing to do with alleged pollution. It's a money-making scheme, period. I feel like that. Many others do as well. Andrew Thomas. Uh... ULEZ Khan, globalist lackey, anti-British, anti-democratic, the UK need to drop. Yeah, I get what you're saying. There's a lot of anti this, that and the other in your statement. And I fully appreciate what you're saying, definitely. Random eyes, traffic wardens are their cousins. Motorists are an easy way to, for councils to make money. It will never change unless we fight back. You should be able to park for free for an hour on public streets. Parking meters are the biggest thieves ever invented. I'll tell you what, Bath Road uh, up at Heathrow, they've got a little slipway there with a Premier in a shell garage and a McDonald's on. And I was up there on Sunday. Free parking all weekend. I was absolutely amazed. You don't see that in many places in London. Another one from Random Eyes. Where I grew up, these cameras would have been set on fire the night they went up. That's assuming they had a chance to put them up. Nothing has changed. Put them anywhere near our communities and they're coming back down in a flash. Money-grabbing scum. Raise your money in ethical ways. Public transport not bringing in enough. Bonuses too small. Find a new career then. Move out of London. We can't all live like kings. Martin Van de Nu. I think I've got your name right there. I saw one by Heathrow yesterday, a ULES camera van. Yeah, I've seen them both times I've been up there recently. Parked on grass verges. Now, one well, best way forward, obviously vans, not ULES exempt then, should burst their tyres so they can't move and get more PCNs. They have been having their tyres burst. Uh, I've heard a rumour that TFL staff are not being charged ULEZ. Have you heard anything about this? No, I haven't, and I would like to find out if anybody knows. Uh, Bedsit Bob sent the tickets to Sadiq. <laughs> Love it. Disco, try the Southern Perimeter Road at Heathrow. Is that you've seen a camera there, or is that a way in the place without getting rumbled? Um... I mean, I, I went on the northern perimeter road the other day and there wasn't a camera when I went in, but there certainly was when I came out. Neil Wadhams, I work at Heathrow, are the vans on Howe property. If they are, they are illegal. They're on the perimeter road, uh, just down from Terminal 5. I've seen them. Uh, so, I, you know, I've heard all the stink about that area saying they're not having the signs and they're not having the vans. And I've seen signs and I've seen vans. So what's the truth of it? Get in touch if you've got any other information, Neil. it would be handy. Sue Lister. Get them all chopped down. The Blade Runners are doing a great job. They are my heroes. I'd love to meet them. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. They are doing a good job. Uh, John Parker. Spray the lenses and potatoes up <laughs> here exhaust. I saw a wonderful video with Katie Hopkins earlier. Gotta give her a shout out. I mean, she's a nutty cow, she really is. But it, it was all about, uh, she was taking attack of how dare you destroy these ULES cameras with this spray foam you can get from Screwfix for 6.69. And she must have mentioned it about 20 times. <laughs> Good bit of subliminal messaging. Uh, Paul's a daily chat, I live Bromley, okay. Well, if you see anything, let me know what's going on. Uh, K1 Orsha, everyone has a moral duty to cause as much distribution uh, to these vans as humanly possible. I'm assuming you meant destruction. Uh, Kearney 7299, is there an address or link or whatever to where these vans should be reported if parked illegally or dangerously? I'm assuming it's just to the actual councils that uh, are asking for it. Most of them have their own individual website these days. 
And be sure, one day your children and your grandchildren will discuss the lunacy of people who thought it was okay to drive vehicles that pump noxious fumes into the environment they lived in. <sighs> right. There is a problem with vehicles emitting certain amounts of what you call noxious fumes. I get it. You look at other countries with probably older cars, higher population density, higher traffic density, the pollution situation is out of control. But if you look over here, the technology, even with modern diesel engines, modern fuel, modern petrol engines, the, the air quality has improved dr dramatically just in that alone. And all the while, Sadiq goes on about pollution and all the rest of it. And you check the air quality readings. No, sorry, it, it, it just doesn't add up. But I respect your opinion. Anthony Atherton. This is what happens, unfortunately, when you let the nutters run the asylum. Uh, Spain Taylor, the vans are all over Heathrow, north and south perimeter roads on the grass verges. Okay, I wonder how many there are. Uh, so, so I've only seen the one, and I've had report of another one as well from somebody I know. Uh, Fat Freddy's Coat. <laughs> I love that name. If you're ticketed by a vehicle that's parked illegally, then shouldn't the ticket uh, it generates be unlawful? You'd think so. You would think so. Anyway, I'm going to finish with that comment. Obviously, if you've got any more, let me know. It's always interesting to see the interaction and what your different opinions are. I'm going to go. I'll be back shortly with one more. Toodaloo.